Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Honey, I was just watching the live that I did on yesterday and we had a good time, y'all. I appreciate those who were able to make it. Y'all that were interacting in the chat, honey, y'all was cutting up and we had some good laughs. That's what it's all about. For those of you that are new, that is my whole point of going live. If I'm not going to interact with my subscribers, then I might as well just make a video. But anyway, I forgot something. We're going to talk about this community post promo. And Barbie, before she told all her business down to the YouTube and down to the TikTok. And now, honey, now peach with the patches. I know you done dropped the price, raised the price. So now we're doing community post promos for just 24 hours, honey. She made sure to put that on there for $35.35. Now, what I noticed was she had about five or six people over there thus far, but she didn't seem to put in any effort. She didn't talk about what the channel was about. She didn't tell people to go over there and subscribe. I mean, it was very much given. I'm sharing this and that's it. That's all. I'm not putting forth any effort compared to in the past. At least she would try to get people to go over there and subscribe and watch some videos and help those people get monetized. But honey, that crap she posted yesterday was very much giving lazy. I just want them $35. I don't care if you get subscribers or not. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know that you all see it. Honey, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Now that's something that you should have been running for a dollar and 35 cents. I mean, and you expect somebody to spend $222, $3,500, Honey, if this is what kind of effort you bring it to the table, no thank you. I go spend my money with Love Dorset, child. Peach Patch, y'all hold off. Just give her another week or so. I promise you, those community promos will be $5.99. Just hold off. Y'all should see the routine at this point. It's pretty much a standard with Peach with the Patches. We go up and down, up and down, and towards the 21st of the month, everything gonna be for the low ski. I don't know, y'all. Don't listen to me. Now that we are a city girl, honey, we are a celebrity now, honey. Them prices might keep on rising, honey, just like the Dow Jones, child. Now on to Bobby, Miss Bobby. Honey, she been posting old footage all week, all month, because we know that's all she has left is memories and not a coin to show for it. But yes, yeah, she posted two different pictures of how she wanted to get her hair braided next time she go back down there. So I guess everything is okay with them because the people were wondering, me included, had her and Bobby fell out or what was going on? Was daddy still trying to creep through the back door? Why haven't you been down to Barbie's? Now, as you can see, do you all see the difference before Peach with the Patches out at her, told everybody that her husband was trying to slide through, trying to get in between them legs versus now, honey, that lady does not like you, Peach, with the patches. Don't you see that? Don't you see the difference? Girl, but yet you keep on taking your ass down there. I'm starting to wonder, hell, do you? <laughs> Child, I ain't going to go there, but who knows, hell, I got a thing for you, Bobby. For people that are accustomed to getting braids like myself, I see a huge difference. And by huge, I mean, y'all see how huge those parts are, those gaps in her head compared to back when she was pregnant with baby number seven, honey. Child, Barbie is messing your head up and taking your money at the same damn time. But yet you don't seem to get it. Girl, don't you see the pictures? Do you ever look back at your pictures then versus now, honey? But like I said last year, I thought it was absolutely insane and made her look crazy because she stayed with that ninja. She stayed with daddy. Ain't nowhere in the world I would have got out here on these YouTube and TikTok streets and told everybody that my husband, that I praised over everybody, was trying to get with my braider. Her words, not mine. Honey, y'all drop down in the comments. Would you ever let that come through your teeth? Honey, daddy, <laughs> I'd have packed up that truck. Nah, scratch that. I would have took them clothes, took them down to Miss Ophelia house, went out there and got my truck, went down to the title office. Would you gonna sign this truck back over to me? Because allegedly, 
It's in his name, child, but that's just me. Quiet as it's kept. We don't even know if that truck was really paid for or was it financed, but that's not the point here. But yeah, I just had to hop on here real quick because I forgot to mention that on live on yesterday. But anyway, y'all drop down in the comments, child.